here in this box is a Harbor Freight milling machine that we got off the Harbor Freight website. In all, um, with a 25% off coupon, it costs about $600. And it's right now it's inside the foam. We'll see if we can get it out and open it up. Now we tip the machine on its side um, and removed this bottom section, the staple on each side, removed it from the rest of the box. Now we can tip it back up um, and just slide this top part off. Now the base is bolted to it. So we have to get these foam pieces off and then we'll probably be able to remove the board. Here's a piece of spring steel that came off of the box. We can just use that to cut the tape on each side. And these pads should come apart. There's one. So there's the machine. Let's get it set up on the table now so we can start looking at this thing. So inside of this piece of foam on one of the hats, there's a couple tools that we found. There's a wrench and a guard and some other things. We're now ready to take the plastic off and set this up here so we can take the bolts out of the bottom. So using a wrench and a six millimeter Allen key, we can lock the nut up here and remove these two bolts from the base. And we may be able to use these same bolts to mount it to this table here. Now before you take off the last bolt, you wanna make sure that the machine is setting on something so that it doesn't fall once the last bolt is removed. So now we're going to take off the other bolt. Okay, now the machine is free from this base. We can go ahead and set it up. There it is. Now, if we wanted to, we could use these mounting holes here to mount it to the table, but we won't do that quite yet. Now let's open up this bag and see what other parts need to go on the mill before it's ready to use. Got Allen keys. Um, we have the chuck key that goes for this. We've got some nuts and bolts um, that go into this T slot here for mounting a vise. Um, this, I believe, is for locking this in place. Um, so that you can change the call it out. And here are some different wrenches and the handles that go onto these knobs. Most of the metal parts on here come with a lot of grease on them. 
to protect them while it's being shipped. Um, but you can wipe most of that off. Um, just clean up a little bit. Also, all along the chuck has grease on it. So the machine comes with this diagram of how the wheel, the front wheel attaches on. Um, there's a washer and then two nuts on the end of it. The washer here is free, it wiggles around a little bit. Um, and then the two nuts are crushed together. Um, but it's still uh, pretty tight, even though the, the nuts aren't crushed against the washer. There's less than a half thousandth of clay in the wheel. One more thing about this knob. When you're putting it on, you wanna make sure that this threaded rod in the center is pulled all the way out before you attach it and snug it up on there. Once that's done, you're ready to attach the handle. Just put the bolt through the handle and the nut almost all the way on. You wanna leave a little bit of room um, so that this can rattle a little bit. And then this screws in with a flathead into the knob. And it will tighten up against the nut, but not against the handle. So now this can still spin while, while you're spinning the knob. This knob comes pre-installed, but you do have to put the handle on, and it works the same way. So by default, the mill comes with this drill chuck here. You can take it out to put other tools in, like with collets. Uh, you have to buy them separately though. But in order to take this out, uh, first, uh, take this cap off up here. Um, this, uh, connect it all the way down here, it's threaded into it. And make sure that the machine is not plugged in for this or on but you wanna stick this bar into the end here so that this thing, um, the whole spindle can't spin, but you can remove the draw bar. So with that in there, you'll want to loosen this up and then you can take this out a little bit. Now, even though this is loosened, that's still up in the spindle um, because of pressure from the taper. So with this um, still in part of the way, you wanna put something soft on the top and then just tap it down and it'll come out of the taper at the bottom. Now it's still in there, we just need to take this out the rest of the way and then the whole thing can come out. Now you want to make sure that these tapers are clean so that they can fit up there perfectly and mesh with the taper on the inside. But now you could put in another collet. Um, and here's an end mill. It's a quarter inch collet with a quarter inch end mill. You put that up in there. You have to spin it until the slot lines up. Um, there. And it'll go up. Start threading it in there. Um, it's already caught in the tape. And all of this is done while this bar is in that. And now snug it up, the wrench, and take out the bar. You want to put the cap back on. And now this end mill is in here instead of the drill truck. Now, you could use this for milling instead of drilling. Um, you could also put any other tools in there with the collets or the drill truck.